Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle from Bell Branch DIY. If you're new here, thanks for dropping in. I do weekly DIYs for home decor and fashion and I try to inspire you guys to do your own DIYs to make something really original for yourself. Today's DIY I can't take full credit for because I was inspired by another YouTuber. Her name is Orly from the DIY Designer. I'll put a link below. She has really cool stuff. Um, but I'm gonna transform a just plain white jacket and I'm gonna hand paint it with some flowers just using Rit dye. And it's really, really beautiful the way this turned out. And as a bonus, I did a home, home decor project with the same technique for some pillows. So this is either a fashion project or home decor. You guys choose. You ready? Let's go. All right, so we're gonna just get right into it and we are gonna practice making some flowers. So we're gonna do this first so that you guys get more comfortable with making flowers and you're just gonna kind of doodle on a piece of paper and scribble some flowers on there and some leaves and some vines and just different ideas so that when you get to your jacket and your pillow, you feel comfortable with your sketches and you're not petrified and with fear of ruining your white jacket or pillow. So I thought we'd start with our pillows first and you're gonna start just drawing the flowers that you were practicing on your piece of paper. And I drew a big flower, and then I did a few stems on either side that go right to the edge of the pillowcase. And then I just kept layering with different flowers, some big ones, some small ones, and you wanna kind of keep an eye on the sizes and the shapes of your flowers. You don't want them all to be the same size and you don't want them all to be the same shapes. So on the edge, I put like half a flower and I just continued on. Then we're ready to paint. So you're gonna to wanna to put something inside your pillowcase so it doesn't bleed through. And I had these little packing envelopes that I stuck inside and put them on both sides and now I am ready to paint. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to saturate with some water. And I would only saturate with water one flower at a time. And then once you get your water there, you're gonna grab some Rit dye and you're gonna start putting that in the area that you already saturated with water. And one quick tip is I took the Rit dye and I put a little in each cap and that way you only use a little bit of dye and you can see each one in the cap. So we're gonna keep going on each flower. You're gonna be saturating with water and then you're gonna be dipping it into your Rit dye and putting that over the water. And then just continue on and you'll see that I layer colors. So that flower has like a red and then an orange and then these flowers have blue and a purple. And I decided this was too blank of a space right there so I added one more flower there. And then I added my water in there and then put it in some Rit dye and then also put that on top. And then I just continued on and worked on both of the pillowcases. This was the second pillowcase. This one has a little more detail on it. I added more flowers on it. And you just continue on until you cover your entire pillow. Now we're ready to do our jacket. So you're gonna grab your jacket, you're gonna grab your fabric marker, a black one, and just start doodling on your jacket. And I started on the back of the jacket and made a big flower and a stem and some leaves. And you'll notice I did a lot of squiggling when I was drawing. And that's the beauty of it. None of this is perfect. You wanna have a kind of a light touch when you're doing this. Don't make it so perfect. And just keep going until you get the amount of flowers that you like on the back of your jacket. And remember, you can always add more flowers after we start painting because you may decide later that you want more flowers or you want some more color in a different area. So I got more comfortable after I was working on the back. So now I put a big bold flower on the front. And then I thought, I wanted to do something really different from all the other big flowers and I started doing some little flowers and I really liked the way it looked. So I kind of put it at an angle all the way to the bottom of the jacket. Then I went and worked on the sleeves and what you wanna do is you wanna fold them so that you wanna draw on your sleeves so as if somebody was looking at the side of your shoulder. And then I added a few more flowers in each sleeve. 
And then I added kind of like a vine so it was a different kind of a look. And then I buttoned the jacket and thought, hey, it would look really adorable to continue on with the little flowers across in that diagonal pattern. Now we're going to use the exact same process we did with the pillows and we're going to start with adding water to our flower and then adding the writ dye and we're going to start layering it in different colors. So I'm mixing like an orange and the, and the purpley color and then I'm going to put in some green and some blue together and just continue on with your jacket. And I noticed I got more comfortable uh, with painting as I finished the back and then moved on to the front. And you'll see on the front, I love the way that turned out. Then I just continued it on to all the flowers. Remember, most important is you wanna take your water and you wanna saturate that with one brush. And then you take another brush and then start painting into the water with your writ dye. One tip when you're working with your sleeve is you can take your other hand and put it inside the sleeve and use the palm of your hand to kind of use as a palette. And that way you don't have to worry about it bleeding through the other side. This one happens to be a line jacket, so I didn't really worry about it too much. But just as an added protection, I put my hand in there. So I just keep going through and I keep layering different colors and it works like a watercolor so you can mix colors and they will bleed together. One thing I did when I was painting is you'll notice that my water would turn a, a color, so it was like pink. So I would use that as the first hue that I was putting down on one of my flowers because it was already wet and it was already a color. And I kind of used that throughout the remainder of the jacket. So I put that wet water that had a little tint in it first, and then I started laying other colors on top and then they would just bleed together and create new colors. And then on these flowers on the front, on the diagonal, I added some orange and pink and purple and the little flowers are my favorite. And one thing you'll notice is that I added more flowers, just the line drawings after I had finished covering the whole jacket and then painted a few of those in. But really, I thought it looked cool with a lot of the blank space and just the line drawings. So I kept that with uh, a few of the large flowers. This jacket turned out so unique and so my style. And that's the whole point of making pieces like this. It's so you're making something one of a kind and original to yourself. And it just turned out beautiful. I think the same technique would look really amazing on a white jean jacket or a pair of flowy white pants or skirt. Just really find something that you would love to wear and just go to town with designing it. And how cool is it that I have pillows to match my jacket? I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think they turned out fantastic. I especially love the way the jacket turned out and where last minute I decided not to paint all the flowers. I love how it's kind of a line drawing and then also just the watercolor. I think it turned out beautiful. I wanna know what you guys think and if you are gonna try this project, be sure to comment and let me know and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new DIYs. Hope everybody has an awesome day. Until next time, happy DIYing.